Hi everyone, I'm Anna Anders. This is the second part two of the video. And I'm going to uh, open this book here and see what's next. Is that okay, Olivia and Marie? Mm -hmm. Yes or no, baby? Yeah? Okay. Whoa, here's a good one. So the reading says this. I make it a rule of Christian duty never to go to a place where there is not room for my master as well as myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. And the message below says, Don't be teamed with those who do not love the Lord. How can a Christian be a partner with one who doesn't believe? Amen, and thanks be to God in the Most Highest. Well, hello, everyone. I'm humbly Anna Anders here at home at ForGlobalPeace.com. i got to say this much. Each partner that I have had, I'd like to think that God has provided soul, um, because if not, I want no part of it. Um, and that's all I can say from my heart here today. And where am I at with my relationship today on this planet? I have no clue. I'm clueless in Cleveland, but that's okay because God has all the answers. So that's where I'm going to leave that one. Next, I'm going to read out of the book Awakening. And today is March 18th. Olivia, Grandma's going to read this one. And <laughs> she just burped. But listen, she burped at the perfect time, Jackie, because, oops, she burped again. Perfect time. Perfect. Good job, Olivia. Nice. You know why? The, guess what the next reading is, everyone? Why? why? Every voice is important. Every voice. Some of our inner selves may be difficult for us to accept at first. For example, we might feel upset to discover there's that angry voice inside of us. Ooh, and it's like so no, not okay to be angry, right, people? Right. Wrong. We can be angry. God created us to have our emotions, and showing emotion is okay. It's what, as long as we're not being destructive with our anger. Um, we need to be productive and constructive and not destructive. Moving on from the word anger. Because when it is, because it's been suppressed and ignored all our lives, it becomes even angrier. And that's me, everybody. Hi, I'm Anna Anders here. It's hard to uh, be in one-sided, responsible relationships with people when they shit all over you. That's all I want to say. It's never, been it's never been listened to and hasn't had a chance to have its feelings heard. We can start to find safe and comfortable and appropriate ways to allow our anger to be experienced and expressed. Underneath the anger, we will find an assertive self that is trying to take care of us by standing up for us ourselves and setting our boundaries for ourselves and asking for what we need this is an, this is an important voice that needs to be expressed because it's part of our lives mm. i accept all my inner voices including my anger and i have a right to my anger hi everyone i'm humbly anna anders here yes and <coughs> lately i've been getting burned out and expressing my anger like Miss Tawanda from the movie Fried Green Tomatoes. So, um, I have patience of a fly on crack is all I want to say these days for horse shit and corrupt shit. I'm going to turn off this YouTube video here because everyone's got to get going. But does anybody want to add to this video? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you want to add anything, Carrie Joy Dinette? No. Rosanna, do you want to say anything? No. God's no. in control. Okay, God's in control. Let's close this meeting with a... Pick a prayer, somebody. Our Father? Our Father. Father. Our Father. Father. Our, after a moment of silence, let's do the Our Father. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread. bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, <laughs> and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Olivia. You said some good prayers. Oh, thank you for showing me what a quickie is with my clothes on. Okay. And I'm very grateful for that. Yes, you can have a quickie with clothes on. Imagine that. Spiritually speaking, it has nothing to do yes. with sex, but everything to do with our spiritual well-being. Yeah. Because respect and love. Right, because a lot of relationships get started with taking their clothes off first and then discovering who we are next. We're doing it. We're putting the cart before the horse like the big book talks about. Right. All right. See you, Miss Jackie. Bye-bye, honey. Ciao, bye. ciao. Bye-bye, everyone.